Good afternoon and welcome to another ironic introduction to another video. Today I'm doing a full ability rundown of Ghost Rider as well as some general tips and tricks. Uh, I don't have any gameplay but there's plenty of it out there so feel free to look it up. If you want me to make gameplay feel free to let me know in the comments. Also like I'm kind of new to this whole uh, ability rundown thing. I've done a handful but if you have any criticisms or things you'd like to see me do better, things you want me to do less of, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll take it into consideration and figure out you know how I want to approach this uh, that little bit done let me go through the abilities as always if you want to skip the ability rundown go ahead and use the description for timestamps below uh, as far as abilities go you have the awaken ability here um, so some kind of like precursor here is that ghost rider places um, judgments let me drop down it's more important to know judgments here so judgments ghost rider places judgments that can be applied once and last indefinitely uh, until removed by a special three uh, and each judgment increases the duration of the next judgment by 75% for each previous judgment. So uh, the first judgment is normal rate, the second judgment place is 75% longer, the third one is 150% longer, so on and so on and so on, up to stacking of 375% longer. Uh, that said, Ghost Rider's Awakened ability is the Judgment of Corruption, which has a 65% chance to land after you end a combo with a medium attack. This gives Ghost Rider a Fury buff for 7.5 seconds. It's also usually the one you land first. Um, with that said, Ghost Rider does not need his Awakened ability to be great, but he... He does not need his awakened ability to be good, but he definitely needs it to be great. More on that later. Uh, passive, Evil's Bane, against villain's opponents, Ghost Rider's uh, chance to place a judgment increased by 20%. Additionally, his armor rating and critical rating are increased by 450. Uh, for when you finish a light comp, when you finish a combo with a light attack, there's a 70% chance to inflict a bleed over three seconds for a pretty healthy dose, almost um, more than two thirds of the amount of your attack which is really relevant. I think it's like 70%. Uh, when you land a heavy attack, there's an 80% chance to gain a lifesteal passive. Notably, this is not a buff, so you can get this even when you know you can't gain buffs. Um, and this is for 5.75 seconds and allows Ghost Rider to steal uh, 600 health with each attack. The amount of health is dependent on your max HP. It's just a percentage of health, um, but it's a really, really healthy amount of health steal uh, if you do it right. Special 1 implies a 70% chance to Fate Seal, removing all buffs, nullifying all buffs, and preventing any new buff from activating. This does work with Mystic's Dispersion, but you shouldn't go unlocking Mystic Dispersion just for Ghost Rider. It's not worth it. Um, and then Special 2 is 80% chance. Secondary drains 18% of the opponent's max power over 2 seconds. And then finally, Special 3 uh, has a 100% chance to inflict Damnation. Uh, for four seconds, which deals um, a amount of direct damage. Um, the special three does do a lot of damage when you use it, so do be mindful that you can end a lot of fights this way. Um, but more importantly, it also power locks, heal blocks, and fate seals the opponent, as well as refreshes all of your judgments so that you can place them all again once the damnation ends. And then finally, um, again, finally, uh, Ghost Rider is bleed immune, and for that reason, uh, I think he's really, 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 really good with suicides, um, or at least, the very least, suicide friendly. But I think, uh, at this point, I'll stick a timestamp for anybody who wants to skip the ability rundown, and then we'll dive right into synergies before going over a general overview. Uh, as always, I'm going to use Amp My for synergies, because if you see here, you don't even get the Blade synergy, and everybody knows that Holy Trinity, which is Ghost Rider, Blade, and Stark Enhanced Spider-Man, is like one of the best three-man synergies in the game. Um, and it's not there. So let me go ahead and use Ant My. Um, again, this website is absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend you use it for any information you need. Uh, let's dive through these rather quickly. So we got Rivals, all champions gain plus 115 critical damage rating. That's neat, but you'll never use it. Uh, teammates plus 5% perfect block chance if you're using Deadpool Red or Electra. That's cool, but you'll never use it. Uh, X23 has 5% perfect block chance. Cute, but you'll never use it. Um, and then we get into the good stuff here. So um, before I talk about Darkhawk, I want to say that Darkhawk and Night Thrasher synergize together. So this is another Trinity option, or even if you're running a five-man questing team, this is a really, really, really good synergy setup between Darkhawk, Night Thrasher, and Ghost Rider. So just something to keep in mind if you have those champions. 
Uh, so Dark Hawk, you have uh, Dark Hawk, Venom, Punisher, and Ghost Rider all gain plus 30% power rate against villains and plus 10% critical rating against heroes. Yes, it's a limited scope, uh, but plus 30% power rate is nothing to balk at. And then next up, you have Night Thrasher. Night Thrasher becomes unstoppable when dashing towards the enemy. Um, that's just really good. I felt the need to say it. But more importantly, Ghost Rider, the durations of Bleeds, Fate Seal, and Damnation are increased by 40%. That makes those pretty healthy. Uh, and, you know, essentially 40% increase on um, Bleed means that it does 40% more damage. Just, you know, for reference there. Uh, and then again, the Night Thrasher Darkhawk synergy is really, really good uh, and something to bear in mind. Next up, we have Mephisto, which is plus 70% incinerate damage, um, but more importantly, Ghost Rider gets plus 10% attack at the start of a fight. Uh, this is okay. It's good if you're using Mephisto for other reasons. Um, like there are, I believe it's a Ghost Rider, Mephisto, and Void synergy um, that you can run. Uh, but, you know, this one kind of goes a little more unknown just because you're probably not using Mephisto unless you're using him for Alliance Quest. Uh, most importantly is the Ghost Rider Blade Synergy. So Ghost Rider gets plus 50% chance to place a Judgment. So essentially, as long as there is no Ability Accuracy Reduction, Ghost Rider will always land every Judgment. And that synergy is so, 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 so good to have. If you have a blade, even if it's a three star, it's so good to put him on your team just for that. Because things like using your special two um, to push an opponent into a special three, you know it's always going to land. So you know they're immediately going to power drain and they're not going to be able to special three. Um, if you're trying to get a fate seal to land, you're not worrying about spamming SP1 and then missing. Uh, and just like the consistency here makes so much of an impact when Ghost Rider is full of all of these like RNG potential triggers. And then finally, teammates here is more plus 5% chance. Uh, so that said, that's synergies. I will stick a timestamp here for anybody who wants to go uh, listen to just the ability rundowns, etc. Um, so first things first, let me talk about um, the awakened ability, the signature thing. Uh, so here, let me uh, zoom out here. This is for a 5-star Ghost Rider. Um, and you'll notice that I have mine at rank uh, at 20, that's because I just duped him and brought him up to 20 for efficiency's sake. Uh, because the most value here is not in the quantity of increased damage that the Fury gives you, but the fact that you get the extra judgment and all of your other judgments afterwards are 75% longer. Uh, and it makes a really, really big difference. But this is a relatively linear curve. So if you really, really like Ghost Rider, feel free to dump Sig Stones in. I would say probably up to like a hundred or so after that you're probably better off saving the mystic stones for someone else um and generally speaking i don't think he's worth generics i think just awaken him bring him up to 20 and then you know eyeball it if you ever feel like you need it um i'm sitting on some mystics i could bring him up higher but i don't feel the need to bring him past 20 because the thing that i want from this is the 70 75 percent increased direction duration on all of the rest of my abilities um but it's important to note that it is a linear curve uh, for the four star version the curve is way steep so you dump 20 stones in and then you, you ignore it maybe you go up to 40 but don't go any higher than that it's just so inefficient it's not worth uh, and then I want to touch I'll go over some like mechanic things but I want to touch on some things here um, so first off is note that like these percentages are not 100%, so you want to make sure that when you're playing Ghost Rider, you're minding the fact that you watch whether or not your judgment lands. Because if your doesn't, judgment doesn't land, it can really, really screw you up, uh, and that'll make things incredibly difficult, which is why the Blade Synergy is so good. Um, and then the reason I think Ghost Rider is so good as a suicide-friendly champion is, one, he's immune to bleed, and bleed is the one that does the most damage, willpower negates most of poison, and two, this heavy heal is insane. Like, the amount of healing you can get by doing, like, prepping two or three other judgments for the heavy, then it's, like, 9 to 12 seconds of just healing, and you bring yourself all the way up past the recoil damage you took, uh, past any block damage you took, and it's just so satisfying, and it makes Ghost Rider really, really good for questing. Um, and even if you're not running suicides, he's still very good. So, next up, I want to talk about combo orders. Uh, so for combo orders, I highly recommend in a general fight where the opponent can be bled. Uh, in any fight where the opponent cannot be bled, just apply the bleed one first for the extra duration on the rest of your uh, judgments. Uh, that's an easy task. 
Um, but in situations where they can't be bled, you're going to want to go medium combo for the Fury because that Fury increases your amount of attack and that will cause your bleed to be higher. So I go medium combo end, light combo end, heavy for the regeneration. I'll use a special one next if I need a Fate Seal or a special two if I want Power Drain. Sometimes you need to use the special one before you're heavy, uh, just depending on the course of the fight. But essentially, it's combo medium, combo light, special one or special two, depending on what you're looking for, um, and a heavy whenever it is convenient. But as long as you get those two combos in, your heavy, your special one, and your special two will be nice and lengthy, and it'll feel great. Um, once you've done all five, special three. Um, sometimes I only do four if I'm like determined to keep them fate sealed. I'll, I'll skip the special two and go straight to the damnation, and then I'll recycle. Uh, do keep in mind that after you damnation, very often you'll power gain all the way up to a special two before the damnation is even over uh so you'll probably like burn a special two just to power drain um so you can reset for a fate seal uh as far as like general tips uh he's really really good in short fights where you don't have to worry about like getting to a damnation he's really really good in questing situations because he's got insane amounts of stain and he's really bad and really healthy for opponents like opponents that have like five hundred thousand health ghost rider it's just a slugfest like he the biggest downfall of ghost rider is that his damage is it's it's modest at best like it is moderate damage even with suicides it is moderate damage um and so that's his downfall you're looking at like some really really lengthy uh clear times on longer fights but that's okay because he's got the sustain to make it through uh one last tip for ghost rider just a kind of fun thing uh, is that you can combo into a special one or a special two after a light attack combo so you can go medium four lights straight into a special and the opponent won't dodge or block it as long as you do it like immediately you know it's a smaller window than a medium combo where it's less forgiving but you can do it i've done it very consistently uh, and that's really my only mechanical tip for ghost rider besides watching it and the order of the combos um, once you've played him it, it's a lot less scary as far as like what the order is because it's essentially the same thing every time uh, and there's really no trick to it it's just muscle memory um, the really one you have to think about is the light one when you land that and the truth is if you misstep there you can just do it later for a bigger bleed and you're still getting good value out of it that said uh, this video has gone on longer than i think it needs to uh, but you know it always does talk to you later